Gladys, we are here in Kiambu County at the Community Hall, uh, Kiambu Town, which is one of the polling centers as well as the tiling center for this sub-county. Uh, now, unlike uh, the scenes we witnessed here in the morning, as you can see behind me, the, the people who had come here to vote have trickled down to just uh, individuals uh, who are now trying to find a little bit of time from their busy schedules to come and participate in this uh, Jubilee Party Probably. primaries. Earlier on in the morning when the polling That's station right. opened here at around 7 yes. o'clock, uh, right. the queues were much longer. People had come uh, to it's cast it's their votes before they go back to work to their businesses. But uh, that, that morning rush has now uh, clearly ended. Uh, the polling clerks inside there are just waiting for individuals who are trickling in one by one uh, to try uh, and, and participate in this uh, important primary here in Kiev. Kiambu County. We have reports that uh, voting in this county largely started on time. Uh, this is uh, due to the fact that uh, uh, the Jubilee Party had earlier made uh, different arrangements and they had the last uh, Friday when uh, voting in this uh, in many parts of this county uh, was uh, actually disrupted. Uh, what we, ha however, understand is that uh, two constituencies, Larry and Limuru, uh, the ballot material has just arrived. So voting starting there uh, will be a little bit later uh, than the other uh, constituencies. Of course, uh, we have heard of the issues in Gatundu as well. But other than that, uh, reports you're getting is that voting in this county is going on uh, rather uh, smoothly uh, from uh, early morning. We've been told that the, vote, the polling stations are likely to close at 6 in the evening, depending on the number of people who will have showed up to vote. Uh, what is key to note is that unlike Friday, when the turnout was uh, large, this time around it appears that many people uh, have rather shied off, uh, perhaps unsure of how the arrangements will be. But uh, those who have come have been served and they've uh, actually gone back to, to, to attend to their uh, daily duties. Uh, it is it, it also very uh, important to note that this is one of the counties that uh, it is expected to have a very competitive uh, run uh, for the seat of the governor. We have the incumbent our, uh, May, uh, governor, uh, William Kabogo, who is facing off with uh, his contender, uh, contestant, uh, uh, Ferdinand Waititu. These two have been engaged in, in, in a very, very heated party uh, uh, campaigns uh, in the run-up to this party primaries. Uh, both camps are, uh, of course, uh, indicating or, or, or rather um, stating that they're, they're confident of taking uh, this party ticket, uh, which we know in an area like this, which is a jubilee stronghold, that ticket is as good as uh, the keys to the governor's uh, office here. Uh, so we are uh, an anticipating to, to have a, a close uh, fortress here. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is one of the centers where the tallying of uh, the votes from uh, around this sub-county will be done. So the result from here also will contribute to uh, to the larger result of the Kiambu County. So this is what is happening here from Kiambu. Uh, we are still waiting for people to come and finish the voting and we will be here throughout the day uh, to just keep you updated on what is happening uh, in this county. Uh, back to you, Gladys.